we're gonna evaluate three tools, reclaim, motion, and clockwise. You may have heard buzzwords such as daily planners or time blocking, and maybe that's why you landed on this video because you're evaluating if you should be using one of those tools. The reason why this new category is so helpful is because I think we're all realizing that we all just have 24 hours in a day and we can only be one place at once or do one task at once. So it makes sense to manage your tasks and your time and your meetings in one place, which is essentially your calendar. So first up, let's talk about motion. Motion initially started out as a calendar and also a smart scheduler to help you chunk your meetings together so you can get more focus work done throughout the day. But since then, they've evolved tremendously and they're now a full project manager and also a task manager. So in terms of how we use Motion, we have different workspaces that are for different parts of our business, like our customers or our admin or our marketing. And within those workspaces, we have different projects. So for example, each of our customers is a project within our customer's workspace. Each project has tasks and we can indicate if a member of our team is blocking each other from moving forward and the tasks can be auto scheduled on our calendars. And that's really where the AI play comes in. You can set your tasks to have different priorities like low, medium, high, or ASAP. And based on that prioritization, it will appear on your calendar in terms of what you need to do next. Prior to using Motion, we were using a host of tools to basically achieve this exact same workflow. We were using something called Chili Piper to allow for scheduling on our calendar. Then we were using, of course, our Google Calendar for figuring out where we needed to be. We were using TickTick for personal tasks, and then we were using Asana for work-related tasks and projects. Since using Motion, we've been able to get rid of all those tools and basically just look at Motion to figure out where we need to be next and what we need to do next. And that's why we love Motion because it's simple to use and really feels like you have a personal assistant on hand. So before I'd have to open up four different tools to basically figure out what I needed to do next or where I needed to be. And now I just open up Motion and everything that I need is right there for me. So next up, let's talk about Reclaim and how that compares to Motion. So similar to Motion, Reclaim uses AI to help you manage your tasks and your meetings. But here's how it differs. So with Motion, it's an actual calendar. So if I want to add in a last minute appointment, for example, I'll do that right within Motion and then it will reschedule my task around that appointment. While with Reclaim, it's not actually a calendar. It's a tool that you would use in addition to your calendar. So you probably will still end up referencing your calendar a lot more than Reclaim. So when you're actually in Reclaim, if you added a task in there, that allows you to move it around within the tool. But if you wanna move, say, another meeting or you wanna add a new meeting, it actually has a prompt that tells you to open up Google Calendar. Reclaim is an additional tool that's sole purpose is to defend your time from others on your team in an attempt to give you more time for habits and focus work. The feature that Reclaim is most known about is their smart one-on-ones. And how this works is say you're a manager and you have dozens of one-on-one -on -one meetings each month, Reclaim will automatically find the best time for you to meet together. Soon they're expanding this feature to smart meetings, which is going to do the same, but for larger groups. And this is where Reclaim is similar to Clockwise, which we'll talk about in just a bit. That being said, only larger teams that have many internal meetings are going to get the most out of this feature. But for smaller teams like ours, Reclaim doesn't really make sense because most of our meetings are either external or asynchronous. With Reclaim, they do allow you to put a flexible meeting on your schedule that will optimize the best time to meet for yourself and somebody who's not within your organization. But in order for Reclaim to do that, they would ask your third party to give full read and write permissions to their calendar. And that really wouldn't pass with a lot of IT security checks. Habits is another big feature in Reclaim, which are essentially just smart recurring tasks. If you're someone at a corporate job who often misses lunch or doesn't have time for chunks of focus work, you can add a habit in Reclaim to tell your team that you're busy so they don't book you in for meetings. You can also integrate Reclaim with your project management tools, say Asana or ClickUp or Linear, et cetera, so that tasks can be auto-scheduled on your calendar. For larger teams that collaborate on tasks, Reclaim is not going to be much help because it doesn't take into account task dependencies or other team member schedules. Reclaim is better suited for personally managing your own tasks while defending your own time to get your work done. 
So we would recommend Reclaim if you are an individual contributor at a larger organization looking to get more focus work done and want a way to block this off on your calendar, or you're a manager who has many one-on-ones and you're looking for a more effective way to schedule these meetings. Or as we recommended in this comment, if you're an individual looking for a free tool to just manage some personal habits and tasks and something like Motion is too robust for your needs, then consider giving Reclaim a shot. In summary, when comparing Reclaim to Motion, Motion is a fully fledged project management tool. It's a replacement for your calendar. It's helpful for team collaboration. You're gonna get your task dependencies and it also schedules tasks on your calendar and your team's calendar. Motion works great for individuals and you're only gonna get more out of it as your team grows. Reclaim, on the other hand, is just a tool that's going to be added to your productivity suite, specifically if you are an employee at a larger organization looking to defend more of your time. So while on the surface, Motion and Reclaim may seem similar, they're targeting completely different people and needs. And because we have gotten this question quite a bit, I do want to address it with Motion. You can do habits as well, because when you think about it, habits are just recurring tasks within a schedule restriction, like in the morning or the weekends or the evenings. So with Motion, yes, you can get your habits in. If you want to try out Motion, use our affiliate link down below to lock in our Motion course for free, where we cover exactly how we use it as a team of five and how you should think about setting it up as well. And if you want to try Reclaim, you can also use the link down in our description for a discount off your first year. Okay, third up, let's talk about Clockwise. Clockwise is also an additional tool on top of your calendar. So you're still going to use your calendar and then clockwise, and it lets you optimize team meeting scheduling. So the example that Clockwise uses is say you have a full day or a full week worth of tasks and meetings and something important pops up say at 9 a.m. on a Monday. You can tell it in natural language to reschedule that meeting and it will take a look at all of your team's meetings and calendars and prioritize when that meeting should be based on allowing the optimal amount of focus work for your team. Well, this is super cool and I think super handy if you work on a large team, especially one that has a lot of meetings, but like we have friends that have used this tool at work and they said they loved it. This is not something that would be useful if you're not having a lot of internal meetings. In terms of the future of work, we're seeing trends that focus more on asynchronous work or more on nonlinear work days. So people working whenever it suits them, not having a strict like nine to five schedule. So while I think clockwise is cool, I think it would have been cooler maybe like five, six years ago or during COVID where meetings were really prioritized. But nowadays, I think a lot of companies are trying to reduce meetings because they know that it just adds to employee fatigue and it reduces productivity. The other nitpick we have with Clockwise is that it only syncs your calendar once every 24 hours. So while you always know what you have coming up the next day, if you take a look at, for example, your schedule on Thursday and Friday on a Monday, that can definitely be susceptible to change. So if you're the type of person that likes to mentally prepare for the meetings that you have going on that week, and you don't really like someone having that much control over your calendar, this is probably not a tool we'd recommend. I personally wouldn't like it, but I do see it being useful if you are in a larger team and you are needing to make all those meetings and you want a more efficient way to schedule them. If you have a large team and you're simply looking to optimize your entire company's calendar, you can grab Clockwise for free using the link in the description. And if you have any questions, just drop them down below and we'll make sure to answer them. And if you want more software advice, go on over to efficient.app where we can help you find your perfect software stack. And you can also find some great deals on some of the software that we love. If this video helped you, we'd love for you to like and subscribe. We post regular software reviews here on our YouTube channel. For instance, check out this superhuman video that is the best way to check your email. Thanks for your time and attention. We'll catch you next time.